everybody welcome to a Pilates class this morning we're going to use some hand weights if you don't like using hand weights or you don't have any hand weights just make a fist and use your own body weight or otherwise get two tins or maybe two small tennis balls or whatever you have let's start with a short warm-up we take a deep breath in arms halfway up then rotate exhale down then rotate halfway up on the inhale and exhale and gentle movements to get the shoulders going or shoulder rotation and down now we're going to bend forward in a hug and you stretch to the back we curve to the front and to the back and to the front and to the back and again to the front and to the back right arm swinging it in front in a figure of eight and the body can start to move with the arm and swing relax though the shoulders don't try and shrug just let it move gently other side and across and then across And four more. And two. And one. Good, everybody. Because we're working with weights, let's circle the wrists, warming them up. And other way around. And flick. Very good. Before we start, though, with the weights let's just swing around and just work on mobilizing the spine we've done this before so you're going to place your hands this time on top of your legs take a deep breath in and on the exhale you're going to roll down and stop just before you your coccyx is on the floor so you're on the coccyx sorry but the lower back is off the floor and then you inhale up and you exhale down Pulling that up. Inhale, exhale up. Inhale, exhale down. Inhale, exhale up. Inhale, exhale down. Now you want to be careful here. You twist. And you come up. And you twist. And you come up. And twist. And come up. And twist. Other side. We straighten. And we bend. We're coming up, pulling the tummy, and up, and twist, and up, and twist. Good, everybody. Now, lifting the arms up, drop the shoulders. Breathe in. Now, pulling the tummy, exhale, drop the shoulders. Inhale, exhale, roll up, and inhale, exhale, coming down and up. So, again here. Nice variation to rolling down and up, but we want to do this one just to again, as I said earlier, mobilize the back. And one more time. Fantastic. Right, everybody, let's get hold of our weights. We're going to start lying down, working with weights. But before we do that, there's one more movement I'd like to do just for the legs and the hips. Bending our legs, hands against the knees or the legs, and all you do is you draw circles with your legs. It's not a wide circle. It's to mobilize the hips and just get the hips going. So this is a nice one to do if your hips are a bit stiff. And you might hear me cracking along. <laughs> and then, of course, you need to go the other way around. Keep that tummy in and remember, if you've got a hollow back, just lift your feet up. And catch your breath. Fantastic, everybody. Right. Please, please, please remember, even if you're working with a ball or with a tin, don't let the wrist slop. Okay. I'll turn it this way. Don't let this happen. 
Make sure it stays strong, stays straight, and all the work is done here. All right, everybody, we're going to work with one weight first. This hand we're going to place behind our head, chin away from the chest as always, and don't close this arm around your face, even though you've just got one hand there. This arm is going to be here. We're going to breathe in and go straight up, exhale. Then we breathe in, come down, still looking up. The hand moves towards the knee, but I'm not looking at that. I'm still looking at something that's above my knees. Then I pull it in and I cross. Let's do it again. Inhale, exhale straight up. Inhale, exhale here. Inhale, exhale, arm across. And again. Catch your breath and change. Now, what are we working on? Going straight up, the obliques running parallel your spine. And the same here. When your arm goes down a little bit, you're engaging what we call the rectus abdominis, the center of the tummy. When the arm cross o crosses over, you're working obliques that work in a cross. Right, everybody. So this is not a double whammy, a triple whammy. Let's start with the other side. Nice deep breath in. Exhale up. And recover fantastic everybody well done now we're going to work with both hand weights starting off just working the back so we're not lifting the head up we're going to breathe in and you simply exhale bring everything together and don't let the elbows be pointing outward pull them in so that you work the chest muscles as well we go down very easy and up let Try and get those elbows to touch every single time. Uh, it might happen that the wrists are bending here when you pull the arms together. It's okay because the hands are staying still. So you are fine. Just relax the shoulders. And one more. Good, everybody. Now we're going to do a different one. You're going to breathe in, focusing on the center. We're going to exhale, weights come in, and you're glancing up, so keep that space here. We breathe in down, we exhale up. Now the elbows might not touch here, it's okay. And up. Breathing in, breathing out. Breathing in, breathing out. Breathing in, breathing out. Breathing in. Breathing Breathing out. Catch your breath. Well done, everybody. Now, careful if you bare feet like me. Be careful here. We're going to place one of the weights in between the feet. Try and straighten the legs. If it's impossible and the knees are bent, move it a little bit away. See if that doesn't help. Arms can be next to us or stretched out, depending what you need. Stretched out is good for extra balance and stability. Right, so... What are we going to do? We're going to inhale. Now, before we start, apologies. Think of a clock. There's 12 o'clock, 11, 1 o'clock. Okay? So we're going to inhale, exhale, move the weight to 1 o'clock. Don't let the coccyx lift. Then you draw it a little bit away from you. Watch that the back's not lifting. 
So we draw it a square, then we come across to 11 o'clock, we pull it back up and we center. Then we reverse, we go to 11 o'clock, we go a little bit away from the body, depending on the back, how far you go, but make sure the back stays straight, go across, come back to 1 o'clock, and we end in 12 o'clock. Across to 12, 1 o'clock, so we're alternating. Excellent everybody. Now we're going to work in a cross like this, but we'll just do one side first. So you move over to say 11 o'clock and then you pull it across to this side of the mat. And then you lift it up to there and you take it lower. If the weight is getting very heavy, drop the weight carefully though. Don't hurt yourself. And do this without the weight and up and down and come back in the middle to stabilize move the leg across to the side then you go down and you're coming up and we're going down and we're coming back up and we go down and up down and up center gently get hold of the weight put the weight down and a nice deep breath in and a deep breath out well done everybody well done fantastic now we're going to roll over onto our side Placing one of your weights, you just keep on your leg, not on your hip bone, lift that leg up. And this is going to be very easy. You turn so that the knees face each other and the foot is slightly elevated. And you're either going to touch knee to knee or if you're flexible, touch the floor and push up. And touch the floor and push up. And touch the floor, push up. Touch the floor. This has all got to do with leg exercises, with the weight there, but also again for hip mobility. Be safe. And one more. Good, everybody. Now turn. Now your feet are going to touch each other. So you're going to tap here and then lift the leg up towards you. Drop and lift. Now you don't have to work with the weight against the leg. I just find I want that extra weight to work with so that I can work that side of my body a little bit harder. And straighten that leg. Well done. Straighten both legs. Use this hand. Spread out the fingers to make sure you're balancing. Look down. Make sure you see your toes. And again here, be safe. We're going to inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Two more. Now this one is mainly for lower body. If you find it's uncomfortable in the back, follow me. You're going to inhale, lift your head just off your arm. But make sure if you can look at me quickly. That your head is not lifting too high and the neck is bending. The neck must be in an absolutely straight line like the rest of your spine. And drop. And we lift. Lift. And we lower. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. The reason this one is very nice to do as a variation to keeping the head on the floor is it takes pressure off the lower back. It makes this easier an easier exercise. And one more. Excellent, everybody. Bend the knees. Put the weight down for a moment. Pull that leg up, up, up. 
curve into a little ball. And relax. Last but not least, holding the weight, strong wrist, elbows up. This is going to be quite easy. We're going to straighten the arm in the air. Now look up, glance up and make sure the hand is not behind the shoulder. Make sure it's aligned with the shoulder and simply pull it down. And we go straight up and down. And straight up and down. Now Ben, doing this one with a bent arm, obviously much easier, safer for shoulder people, even neck people. I'm going to show you a variation on this one in a second. Right, everybody, now we're working from here. Now you've got two options. Either you bend the arm, straighten the arm again, make sure it's aligned with the shoulder, and then you lower. Safest one for shoulder people, this one. Use your elbow, bend it, take the pressure off the shoulder. Otherwise, you're going to breathe, inhale, exhale, lift up only to there. And inhale, exhale, you're working against gravity, so be careful not to bump. Slowly up, slowly down. You can, if you want to, lie with straight legs doing this one. A little bit more trickier. So if you find you're, you're losing balance or you're wobbling, bend the knees. And we lift. And we lower. And we lift. And lower. And two more. We're almost there. And one. And drop. Relax the arm for a second. Catch your breath. Let's roll over to the other side. And again, knees pointing at each other. And you drop, you push up. We drop and push up. Drop, push up. And recover it. Feet together. Now pull the leg in. And drop. And lift. And drop. Lift. And drop. Lift. And drop. Lift. And one more. Good, everybody. Put the weight down, give that leg a hug, and now again, be safe, be careful. I'm going to do both, and you decide which one works for you. The, more, the one that we usually do is just lifting the legs up and down, and the head stays on the floor. Make sure that your top foot is in line with the hip, or even lower than the hip. If you want to do the head lift again, please make sure it's a very low lift and your neck is absolutely straight. Breathing in, breathing out, breathing in, breathing out. Work with the tummy, squeeze. And two more. And one more. And catch your breath, everybody. Well done. Bend the arm, weight in front, elbow up. Let's mobilize the shoulder. Again, arm in line with the shoulder. And drop. And lift. And drop. Very, very easy movements for the arms. But you won't, will be quite surprised to know that you're working a lot of arm muscles just by lifting weight up. Especially here when you come down, you're working against gravity. All 
always make sure the wrist is strong. I know I say this a lot, but I can't emphasize it enough. And catch your breath. Now again, you can bend the arm in and then straighten it and then bend it going down, no problem. Or don't shrug. You lift him up and you coming down. And you lift up and down. Tummy's in. And lift and lower. And lift and lower. I've got a fig tree outside in my garden. And as you can imagine, many birds enjoying the figs more than I. By the time I get there, they ate quite a number of the figs already. So that is my view. Where are you? Is it sunny or is it cloudy? Two more. And one more. And put the weight down. Relax the body. And when you're ready, coming up into a sitting position. Right, everybody. Well done. Catch your breath. Round your back. Push me out of the way. Coming up. Stretch the arms back and relax. Now, we didn't do a lot of glutes today, so what I'll do is next week incorporate some weights again or maybe something else and we'll focus a bit more on the lower body, the glutes, ladies. I know you want that. So for now, let's just put the weights away. And we're just going to end off with a couple of stretches and just fix this hair. It's getting long. Can't decide. I think I need a bit of a haircut. So we're going to breathe in, right arm up and exhale over. Then you inhale and exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Those of you who follow my yoga as well will know this is called dynamic stretching where you move slowly but you're working with your breathing you inhale exhale inhale exhale and now we're going to a st static stretch where you hold it for a while and then we come up drop the arm drop the shoulder we're reaching forward and now from here you hook and keeping the hands close together, relax the shoulder and then flex your hand, tilt your head flex your hand as the head comes up the other way and now relax the hand, twist drop Center, other side, going over on the exhale, coming back, and stretch, and over, and stretch, and over, and stretch, one more time, exhale, inhale, exhale, Inhale now, reach across, coming down and stretch, coming up, relax the shoulder, the closer the hands are, the better for your shoulder, flex the hand and then of course tilt the head. Relax the head, flex the hand the other way, and now push yourself to the back, drop the hands, 
and center. Shoulder roll from the back to the front. Curl down. Firming up. Roll the shoulders to the back. Take a nice deep, deep breath in. Exhale, both hands behind the head. Now, don't look down. Push the shoulder, the elbows rather up. And now tilt your head and look up. And center. Breathe in, round the back. Bend the knees and curl into a ball. Open the arms, open the legs in a V. Take a deep breath in, arms up. Turn the body on the exhale, bend your arms, not your legs, and relax. Coming up, breathe in, and exhale down in the middle. Coming up, breathe in, turn, exhale over the other way. Coming up, breathe in, exhale, feet together, exhale, arms behind us. Keeping one hand behind you. Swing the other arm around, turn your body and look at your knee. And then gently stay close to the legs the other way. In the middle, arms in any position that's comfortable. Rolling up. Hands behind us, open the knees, open the hips. And center. Crossing the legs. Turn the other way. Relax shoulders. Swing the legs to the back. Careful knees, don't pull too hard if it's not comfortable. And relax, other side. And again, turn. And swing your leg to the back. And recover. Thank you for joining me everybody this morning, this afternoon, evening, wherever you are. Enjoy the week and I will see you soon. Thumbs up, subscribe and please share. Bye-bye.